Welcome to Beeston. That's Nottinghamshire, not Leeds. Our town is brimming with diverse heritage, art, communities and nature. It is a bee town, whatever they say. As a civic society, we've cared about the built and natural environment of our area and its community for more than 50 years. We work to retain and preserve local features of significance while encouraging public engagement in new developments. We aim to bring people together to make Beeston a sustainable and vibrant place to be more civic. Just three miles from the historic city of Nottingham, Beeston is very well connected locally and nationally via public transport. With direct rail connections to Nottingham, Derby, Leicester, London, Newcastle and Cardiff, commuters to Nottingham can hop on the tram or pick one of several bus services heading that way frequently. Even the airport is only a bus ride away, making it easy to alight in Beeston for wherever your flight takes you. Our town centre is filled with myriad of independent shops, restaurants, bars and cafes and we have several local markets. Our churches welcome everyone and from all faith groups through their doors. The parish church is Grade 1 listed and its bells ring for practice on Wednesday evening and before the Sunday service. We're proud of our parks too with Broadgate Park which is both a quiet spot and furnished with outdoor activities. Beeston once again has its own cinema. The Ark arrived in 2021 in all its eight screen glory. Beeston's eye-catching murals have put us on the street art map nationally and internationally. Artists commissioned by our street art project include Zebu, Quebec, Jim Vision, N4T4 and many others. Getty images have been to shoot here and the work draws street art tourists from far and wide. Artworks include references to local people, heritage, events and wildlife. A perfect reflection of all that's important to us in the society and something we're proud to offer for others to enjoy. We're really lucky to have accessible, beautiful wildlife habitat on our doorstep in the shape of Wildlife Trust's Attenborough Nature Reserve. The visitor centre means that not only can you spot wildlife and feed the birds on a walk, you can stop for tea and cake too. With the great views over the Trent and throughout the reserve, it's a great place to visit any time of the year. Our town has a lot to offer, whether you live here, work here, are staying while you study or are passing through as a visitor. Civic Society volunteers care about where they live and caring helps conserve heritage and shape futures. All our members help this activity too. Simply by being members of the Civic Society, they enable us to be more civic. Uh, well, I'm the treasurer, and that means I keep the accounts and I keep an eye on the money, make sure we have a bit of a budget each year, and then from that, we try and make sure that we do the work, which is mainly talks, walks. I was brought on board a number of years ago uh, by the previous chairperson uh, because I was independently organising the Beeston Street Art Project, and she thought that it fit perfectly under the umbrella of what the Civic Society does to protect and improve our local environment. I have the portfolio for environment and climate change. I'm just interested in everything anyway, I'm interested in making a place where we live better. And I think that's what the Civic Society tries to do. Their aim is to make a better life for people. I worked in a planning department, so there's aspects of what I do for a living that I can contribute to the civic society. And I take the minutes and I'm starting to put, help put together the events season for next winter. Well, actually, I'm, I'm sort of quite keen on heritage and, and so forth. And um, I was really quite pleased when I was asked when I retired. All the people who've, you know, uh, partaken uh, in running it previously, you can see just how much they've done over the years. That kind of impact to have on individuals and on community, the wider community, is a really nice legacy. So I hope that our current committee feel, you know, a bit of a boost for being part of that. This idea that we want to make things better for people, to have a better life and um, make the environment better. What we try to do is quite ambitious. When you look around at the street art, well, when you see that we saved open the house from being demolished, it was said it wasn't viable. When you see trees being planted, the events are great, talks are well attended. 
it's about changing people's attitude to where they live. You do get, obviously, people who are quite vehemently opposed to change in general uh, and art or, you know, that kind of thing. But I think hopefully most people recognise that what we've created, particularly with that project, which has been my particular bag, um, has benefited the high streets and has brought people to the area and, you know, given us a lot of positive publicity. It's a good relationship, generally. And we do have quite a varied programme, so some of the events attract different audiences, but it's still walks and talks tend to appeal to a certain demographic. So we've got the street art that attracts younger people, and we do um, skateboarding projects as well. The main thing is to try and improve um, the, the, the well-being of all our residents and to make sure that um, they are sitting in an area which is on the up instead of the down, whilst at the same time making sure that we keep all the heritage buildings that we can, uh, but be realistic. One has to recognise at times that the building uh, may have to go as we move on from there. But it's also making sure the new buildings are well designed as well. Between us, we, we fundraise for various things that we think will benefit the community largely yeah so be it you know greening tree planting um cultural interest things and yeah there's there's just loads going on loads we've got a quite a heavy criteria list to fulfill and you have to go through due processes to get brocks to include it in the local plan but once you do open a house is a classic although it was a conservation area it wasn't felt to be nationally significant, but actually locally it was very significant. And when we did the petition and everything, people were really strong about we don't want to lose this Victorian building. I don't think it has an end goal, but it's it's just striving for excellence really in everything that it does. And like I said, to make the place better in the buildings and and in the environment where people live and to, to involve people. Collectively, Beeston can continue moving forward together with the community and its town, hand in hand. Don't forget, there's always a buzz in Beeston. Be more civic. Join us online today and find out more 